Hello and welcome to part 3 of Kinetic Media's jQuery Mobile and Dreamweaver Basics. In this training we're going to talk about jQuery Mobile Pages and actually working with pages inside of jQuery Mobile. So first of all we'll talk about what, what consists of a page and that's exploring the header that gets started with a page, exploring content, and also exploring the footer uh, that's, that consists of a page as well. So when you're talking about a page those are the three things that consist of a page, a header, content and then footer. Now the content may have a lot of stuff in it um, and the header may have buttons in it but those are the, really the three main parts of a page. So we'll talk about creating a new page inside of Dreamweaver but then it's also important to know about creating a new page inside of the code and doing that manually. So first of all I like to review in my sessions about um, hypertext HTML. So you're working with HTML and HTML and I really want to focus on this part HTML is hypertext markup language um, so let's review this just a little bit if you already know this you're very familiar with HTML then you can go ahead and skip this but for those of you who are starting out um, let's just talk a little bit about this keep in mind that HTML is a markup language so when you write out your text you're marking it up with different tags so that means when you're wanting to write out a header and you're wanting to write out a paragraph well you just type that as you would just in a regular text editor but around the parts that you want it to be a header you put an h1 or h2 or h3 or h4 um, and same thing with the paragraph those parts that you want to be a paragraph you you put a p tag and an ending p tag and so really that's what html is you're marking it up well when you're working with div tags you're actually taking more than one content because before you had an h1 and you had a p tag and those were two different elements basically but div tags really take multiple different elements and they put it together in one bounding box so really i think of a div tag as an invisible bounding box that says okay you can apply code to this entire area and it may have different parts in that. Now that becomes very important with jQuery mobile because jQuery mobile adds a lot of attributes to the div tag. It can add attributes to a paragraph, a heading tag, um, a, a link tag and everything like that. But this allows you to define different elements about the div tag uh, that jQuery mobile really thrives on that. So that's why I wanted to review just a little bit about HTML and the markup text language. So a page um, is what you start out with when you add a page or you have a page like if you started from the template like we have you start out with four different pages. One has the list view, one has and the rest of them just have regular content. So most of the code is already written out for you when you start out from one of these templates. All you have to do is actually replace it and tweak it. Even when you're adding a page inside of Dreamweaver, uh, it actually adds some sample content for you and all you have to do is go in and change the header title or change the content and change the footer and everything like that. So it does help if you're familiar with HTML and CSS and JavaScript. Uh, not so much JavaScript yet until you start adding events and you start adding like listeners for swipes and stuff like that so we'll get into that a little bit later keep in mind that you're creating those three different elements of a page like you see on the image on the right hand side here uh, the part that says page two is the header uh, the part that says content is the actual content and the part that says page footer is the page footer for that page two now every single page inside a Dreamweaver mobile or sorry in jQuery mobile that you add inside a Dreamweaver has those three different elements so when you add a page inside of uh, Dreamweaver for jQuery mobile it allows you to give a page an ID because every single page needs to have its own ID that's how you link to it and then you define if you want there to be a header or a footer those are optional the content section is not optional you need to have some type of content in there but the header and the footer are optional so Dreamweaver starts you out with a basic page whenever you add a page uh, or if when you start from the template you already have uh, four pages in there um, so you have a header on every single page uh, and on the first page you have a list uh, which is part of the content and then you have a footer 
<clears throat> now you can change the look of each item. Uh, so you can make the header have a certain look. You can make the footer have a certain look. You can make the uh, the list views or the content have a certain look as well. Uh, by and you do this by using the themes and a simple. And if you have CS6, they actually released a jQuery mobile swatches panel, which is really nice for changing themes out. Now you can do this by code, uh, by manually by code with some code hints in CS5.5. But with the uh, mobile swatches, it actually makes it a whole lot easier. Now, when you click or add an additional page, you're presented with the uh, choice to add a page title uh, and to select whether or not you want to have a header or a footer like we talked about. Now, over on the right-hand side, you see the jQuery mobile page. That's what you're presented with inside of Dreamweaver. Now, within each page, you can have content and then place, like I mentioned before, whatever HTML. So you can have video tags in there. You can have audio tags. You can have uh, different layout tags. You can see us, uh, add your own CSS for those different elements. And it's pretty much whatever you can do with HTML, you can do within that content. So let's go ahead and go into Dreamweaver. And let's talk about some of these pages. So the very first page here, <clears throat> you'll notice that we have a div tag and then we have a data dash role equals page. This is actually what tells um, jQuery mobile that this is a page. Uh, come over here and see, okay, from this div tag to the ending div tag, every single thing inside of this div tag consists of one page. Now, we do need, do need to have it as an ID, which uh, Dreamweaver does start me out with the first page being a pa an ID of just page. Um, but every single page needs to have an ID because that's how you link to it. Otherwise, you wouldn't actually be able to get to it. Now, the next, within this page, I have three more div tags. The first div tag equals data role equals header. Now, this is how you define whatever's in this element is a header. Now, within it, we have an H1 tag, and this is the title of this page. So I can come in here, and within that H1 tag, I can change this to whatever title I want. So if this is the main menu, I may want to say main menu here. And keep this in mind when we actually talk more about headers uh, we're going to talk about adding buttons we're going to talk about adding other elements within the header but for now it starts you out with a, a page title and then coming down here we have a div tag data role so you can see data role is very important with jQuery mobile but data role equals content so from this div tag here to this div tag here is the actual content of this page now for this first page within the content we have a list view now not every single page so let's scroll down here a little bit on page two here inside of the content we just have some text that says content um, and so but what the starter template starts us out with is a list view now within the list view we have just a couple list items and uh, in these list items we have href tags that go to um, a pound sign and then the page name. This is how jQuery mobile navigates to a new page and slides it in um, from one page to the next page. Now these different pages are contained within the same HTML file. Um, and so that's how uh, jQuery mobile knows how to slide it in. And the nice thing about that is once the HTML file, the first page is loaded, you don't have to worry about all of the other pages loading if you keep it all within one file. Now you can link to other pages, uh, external files and everything, but the benefit about having it all within one page is once it's loaded, it's loaded. And so it's going to be quick and fast, especially on a web view, to go to the next pages. And so, uh, <clears throat> so it depends on how you want to reference it. If you want to separate it out, separate it out because you could get a very long index file if you wanted to have all your pages in there and your application has tons of pages. Um, so it, it's some pluses and minuses there. And then the last thing is the uh, data footer. Um, and so those are the three different things that it starts you out with. Now the data footer has an H4 tag in there and then it has the title so I can change that. Now if I wanted to add a new page, I'm going to go ahead and come down to after the last div tag and I'm just going to place my uh, cursor there and I'm going to come up here and I want to view the controls for, um, for the actual 
uh, jQuery mobiles. I need to come up to the window and then I need to go to the insert menu. I need to make sure that insert is selected there. Now under the different, uh, different uh, layouts you have different uh, that you may see something different in different positions. Um, let's go ahead and change this to mobile applications. If we're working with mobile applications, actually not mobile applications, let's go to App Developer Plus. And when we're working with uh, apps, I may want to have that up there. But my insert menu is over on the right hand side. You can also just position that. If you're going to work with that a lot, you can just drag that and position that above everything else. Now, within the insert tab, we have a jQuery mobile tab. Now, the jQuery mobile tab has a lot of different elements that we can add, which we'll go over these in different videos. But the first one that we're going to be worried about is the jQuery mobile page. Now, I want to make sure that, again, my cursor is placed in the location that I want to add this page. And then I come up to the top here and select where it says jQuery mobile page. Now Dreamweaver presents me with the jQuery mobile page dialog. It already gives me an ID and it has my header and my footer already selected. If I wanted to change the ID name, you can go ahead and do that, but I'm just going to leave it as page 5 for now. Click OK and you can see down at the code, let me just go ahead and separate this a little bit more, but down at the code, I have uh, it adds the same type of page that I have on the other locations. I have um, uh, data role equals page, I have an ID, here's my page 5, and then I have data role equals header, my h1 tag, data role equals content with the content in there, and then data role equals footer. So I have a header, a footer, and content inside of there. Now, if I wanted to, I could add some notes here to, to kind of separate this page, and I found this very useful if I have multiple pages inside of one file. So I would just say page 5 starts here, and then I like to add that at the end of my div tag, page 5 ends here. And that way, if I'm scrolling through these different pages, I might want to add it on every other page, but if I'm scrolling through, there's a clear separation from one page to the, from the start of one page to the end of the other page. So that is how you go in and um, inside a jQuery mobile, or sorry, Dreamweaver, uh, add a jQuery mobile page using a Dreamweaver interface. If you didn't want to use the Dreamweaver interface, then you can just select one of those pages, copy it, and then just come down and paste it, and then just tweak different elements. That's, okay, this is page six. Let's go ahead and just change page six. Change the ID to page six as well. And now we have a completely new page. Well. This is all and good, but if I try to preview this, let me come back into uh, my sample mobile folder here, and if I try to preview this, I only have pages 2, 3, 4. I don't have 5 and 6 there. Well, you need to add that to the list field. You still need to add it to the navigation in order to get to that page. So I'm going to scroll back up to my navigation. I'm going to copy one of the list items. You don't need all of them, but I'm going to copy one of the list items, and I'm going to paste that twice because I have two new pages, I have page 5 and I have page 6. So I'm going to change the links to page 5. Keep in mind that it's whatever ID that you made, but in this case we made uh, the idea, IDs of page 5 and page 6. And I'm going to change the labels. So this is the label that the uh, end user will see. So I want to make sure that they actually are correct. If I hit save, come back to my window and just refresh that. Now I have page 5 and page 6. Come here. And there's my header, my content, and my footer. Now I can go back into page 5 and page 6, change the label uh, in my header 1 to page 5, and then my header for page 6, I'll just change this to page 6, save and preview. And I always like to go back to the main index, uh, the main list view as well before I hit refresh. But I'm going to hit Control R on Windows or Control R on a Mac or Command R on a Mac. And now if I go back to page 5, there's my page 5. So that's how you add a page inside of uh, Dreamweaver using the uh, interface for jQuery Mobile or using it manually, just copying and pasting the element from one page um, and creating a new page and then also updating the list view uh, to link to those pages as well. In the next tutorial, we're going to talk about using the list views, manipulating the list views, making it look different, and uh, all the different things that you can do within a list view.